Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the AF227, the first motor that was released by a new company that goes by the name Axis Flying. In this video I'm going to quickly go over the specs of the motor, bench test it using my motor's thrust end, and finally head outdoors and test it out. First of all, the AF227 motor is available in 3 kV options. 1960 kV, which is the version that I'm going to test in this video, and 2010 kV, which are compatible with up to 6S batteries, and 2710 kV, which is compatible with up to 4S batteries. In terms of packaging, the motor comes inside this nice reusable pouch, and along with the motor you're getting some stickers, the user manual, and the bag that contains a spare rubber o-ring, washers, and a hex screw for securing the motor bell, and M3 screws for mounting the motor. As for its specs, the AF227 motor is connected to 15 cm long 20 gauge silicon coated wires. It's using a 12 by 12 mm motor mounting pattern. It weighs 34.4 grams. The motor bell is secured using a hex screw which is covered with a pretty powerful Loctite glue, so in order to remove it you are going to need to preheat the hex screw using a heat gun. Here you can see what it looks like after separating the motor bell from the stator. So inside the motor bell you can find 14 magnets and on the top side of the hollow motor shaft a rubber o-ring and two washers on its sides. As for the stator, its diameter is 22 mm, its height is 7 mm and according to Axis Flying it is waterproof and dustproof. The next thing that I've done is to bench test the Axis Flying AF227 motor using the latest Dalprop freestyle and racing 5 inch propellers and overall according to the thrust test results which are of course linked down below and according to my limited experience with these motors I think that these are premium motors that are very powerful and also power hungry and they are going to fit pretty nicely on both racing builds and also on freestyle builds that require you some extra power. Having that said, these are premium motors that come with a premium price tag, so they are a little bit on the expensive side, so perhaps in order to reduce some cost, Axis Flying should consider ditching these pouches, which I believe are anyway not going to be useful for everybody. Now I'm going to wrap up this quick video with some flight footage and the thrust test results, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.